It must have felt like the end of the world. Almost half the world's steel is produced here in this valley. It just created tens of thousands of jobs. The mills fell like dominoes. Thousands of, of people you know, thrown out of work, families left without a blueprint or a path. People warned me, you know, like, oh, are you sure you wanna, you sure you wanna go to Braddock? Are you, are you, you know? And what I found was just the opposite. I was an incredibly welcoming community that was just in need of somebody to just to get involved. We've taken on a degree of challenges here. It's unmatched in any community in Pennsylvania. And bringing basic amenities that, you know, most people in this country take for granted, getting your hands dirty. And we feed people every day here. We help clothe families. Practical things that matter to people, helping young people get their GEDs. We help, you know, keep the town safe, creating a stable place for people to begin to reinvest. We've been able to prove that if you build a smart business in Braddock, people will come and you'll actually be able to thrive. If a community that has lost so much as Braddock has can get to that place, then any community can. And, and if, if there's a lesson to be taken from Braddock is that no community deserves to be abandoned, no community deserves to be left behind, and, and it can always get better. And in fact, there's, there's a moral obligation that it should. It's been a long process, you know, 10 years as mayor. Braddock is a roadmap to begin to build it back up, to build a stronger Pennsylvania. I, I wanna be able to do more for not only my community, but also, you know, you know my commonwealth here. <laughs>